Welcome to Great Online Training series on Pharmacovigilance Interview Questions and Answers. My name is Ramya and I am working as Pharmacovigilance Trainer for Great Online Training. If you want to get live training by me, register at greatonlinetraining.com for more details. In our earlier videos, we have prepared on different expedited reporting criteria like the case validity assessment, seriousness assessment, expectedness and the causality assessments. So these are the factors which derive the expedited reporting, reporting timelines. So uh, one of the most common interview questions that uh, the interviewers can ask you is about these expedited reporting timelines. In this video, we are going to prepare on the time on these timelines for the expedited reporting. So uh, the time frames of expedited reports vary among the countries depending on the source of the report, expectedness, and also on the outcome. But in general, um, we have categorized them under three categories. Uh, so first, for the expedited reporting of serious and unexpected adverse drug reactions from the post-marketing cases. So this is for the post-marketing sources. They need to be submitted as soon as possible, but in no case later than the 15 calendar days of initial receipt of the information by the MAH. So we have the 15 calendar days time to submit the serious and unexpected adverse drug reactions from the post-marketing sources. Coming to the clinical trial sources, fatal or life-threatening unexpected ADRs, so these are the SUSARs of the fatal and life-threatening seriousness criteria, must be notified to the regulatory authorities within seven calendar days. So these SUSARs qualify for the very rapid reporting, which has SUSARs of seriousness criteria with fatal and life-threatening and they must be notified within seven calendar days after the first knowledge and then we have to follow we have to send the follow-up report by the within the next eight days that is by 15 days after the first knowledge of the event so we have to submit the report within seven calendar days for all the fatal and the life-threatening SUSAs and the follow-up can be submitted within next eight calendar days and for the clinical trial, all the other serious and unexpected ADRs, which are not fatal or the life-threatening, must be submitted within 15 calendar days after the first knowledge of the sponsor. Okay, so these are the timelines from the ICH guidelines. And so the timelines in summary are for the clinical trial, SUSAR with the fatal or the life-threatening serious, seriousness criteria, we have to submit the initial cases, we have to submit Within, 50, within seven calendar days, and the other serious events must be submitted within 15 calendar days. For the post-marketing sources, irrespective of uh, the different seriousness criteria, we have to submit all the serious and unexpected ADRs within the 15 calendar days. And non-serious cases are, uh, are they are not an expedited, no need to report them in expedited manner. We can report them, uh, a uh, few authorities may require those reports also in the 15 calendar days, but those things we don't need to mention in the answer because we won't be sure about the countries, like which countries requires the 15 day or which countries requires the 90 day timelines. So if the interviewer asks you about the non-serious events reporting timelines, then you just need to mention. So these are not expedited uh, as, per the, as, as per the guidelines, but maybe few countries might require these reports also to be submitted within some time frame, but these timelines vary from the country to the country. So this is the answer you need to provide for this question. And these are the timelines which you need to memorize. Uh, so this is the most common and important question that the interview will, will ask you whenever you are attending for any job role related to the pharmacovigilance. And hope you like this video. And if you have any questions, you can ask us from the comment section below. We will get back to you at earliest. Thank you for watching.